Today I have the brand new My Little Pony 2015 Happy Meal toys. And these are the ones that include the Equestria Girl dolls. So I'm super excited about these. Uh, the McDonald's I went to had six out of the eight toys to collect. So I'm still missing the pony versions of Twilight and Pinkie Pie. So I still need to get those. But anyways, I wanted to show these to you guys. So I'm gonna get these out of the packaging so we can take a closer look. Okay, so I got them all out of the packaging, and the Equestria Girls unfortunately do not stand on their own very well. They're very tippy. Um, some of them wouldn't even stand at all, which was kind of unfortunate, but the ponies do stand fine on their own. And they each come with a brush, which is pretty cool because they each have um, some like actual fake hair, like it isn't just molded, there's some actual hair on all of them. So that was pretty cool. But I'm gonna show you the brushes. They're all pretty much the same, except for they have a little bit of a different design and a different color. So this is what Apple Jacks looks like. There's some like apple details on here. It's really hard to see, but that's what it looks like. And they're kind of glittery like Pinkie Pies. It looks like there's little balloons on them. So that's a nice detail. I left hers in the packaging and so on and so forth. So I'm going to show you these dolls much closer so we can take a look at them. So here is the Equestria Girl Pinkie Pie and she looks so cute. I think these are so adorable and her hair is super curly. They had them wrapped around their waist in the packaging so their hair would stay nice and I thought that was a really nice touch. But this is what she looks like. She has a cutie mark on her face, kind of. <laughs> and then also on her skirt. She has a heart on her shirt. And there's her boots. They're very, very cute. Oh, so adorable. And you know, they're not the best paint job because these are like mass produced toys, but I still think they're really cute, especially because I think I paid like not even two bucks for each toy, so that's pretty nice. And here is Applejack. See the apples on her cheek and on her skirt, and she's got her hand on her hip, but you can move their arms. And you can't really move their legs too well, but you can move their arms and their heads. So there's Applejack. She's got her nice boots on with some apple detailing on them. And there's her hair. So she's got partially molded hair, and then they've got some um, more real feeling hair, I guess, on the back as their ponytails. So that is what Applejack looks like. Put your arm down. <laughs> and so then we have Twilight. Here's Twilight's brush, by the way. It looks like there's little stars on it, like little cutie marks of each one on here. It's really hard to see because it's kind of translucent. But here is Twilight and she has her wings, which is really cool. So there's her wings and her ponytail. Has two-toned hair on it. Nice touch. And then her cutie mark. Here's her outfit with her cutie mark on there. And her shoes. So there is Twilight. Moving on to Fluttershy. Here's Fluttershy's brush. It's yellow. Well, actually, I guess these are more like combs. And this one has little butterflies on it, but it's really hard to see. So here is Fluttershy. She also has her wings. You can't remove them, as you can see. They are on there good. And then there is her hair. And like I said, oh, you can't move her arms? Oh, wow, you can't move Fluttershy's arms. Can you move Twilight's? Nope, can't move Twilight's. You move Pinkies. Okay, this is weird. You can only move Applejack's arms, at least on mine. That's weird. Anyways, so here is Fluttershy. There's a cutie mark on her cheek and on her skirt. There's her boots with the big butterflies on them. Very pretty. And then here is the Applejack Pony. And I think she came with the same brush as the Equestria Girl. Yeah, she did. So here's Applejack. Her tail is the um, more the real feeling hair and then her, um, her mane is molded. And she has several cutie marks on this side, as you can see, but there's none on the other side. So I guess these cutie marks are what sets these ponies apart from the earlier toys that were the molded ponies. Um, but this is what she looks like. Very good representation of Applejack. 
And then we have the Fluttershy Pony, molded hair, and then she's also got the more real feeling hair as her tail. She's got the three cutie marks as well, and none on the other side. And her molded hair looks pretty good. And these uh, ponies feel like they're pretty good weight. Not bad. So there is Fluttershy. And her brush is different from the Equestria Girl brush or comb. She has a pink comb and it's got little butterflies on it. So that was my opening and review of the My Little Pony 2015 Happy Meal toys. I was kind of disappointed that they didn't include Rarity or Rainbow Dash in any way whatsoever. Maybe that's to come later on. I'm not quite sure, but that was kind of disappointing because Rainbow Dash is my favorite, as you guys know. Um, and I still need to find Pinkie Pie and Twilight versions of the ponies. But anyways, let me know down in the comments which one of these toys is your favorite. Do you like the Equestria Girls better or do you like the ponies better? Let me know down in the comments. And you can check out all my social media down in the description. And also please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos just like this one. And also I just have the Happy Meal box in the background there. I didn't mention that, but that's why it's there. Just thought I'd show you guys. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!